technology is actually growing exponentially. When you look out into the world in the next 20 years, you're going to see a reality that's very different than the one we see today. Travel in the future will become much more of a magical adventure. My name is Gray Scott, and I'm a futurist and a techno philosopher. In 20 years, airplanes will look nothing like they look like today. The airplanes may actually look like spaceships. They may be solar, and they may have no windows at all. By 2035, you can imagine entering an airplane where the inside of the airplane itself is covered with a display system. You can order your food that is 3D printed. You're wearing a virtual reality headset, and you don't want to be on a plane. You actually want to be on vacation already. So the trains of the future may look nothing like today. The way we think of a train today is one huge compartment that runs on a track. We could see trains that are running 500, 600, or even 1,000 miles per hour. The future of transportation will really blow our minds. You will look forward to travel in the future. It will be a, a magical adventure. I think it's critical to think about the future because we have life-changing technologies that are about to unfold on this planet. In the next 20 years, things are going to move and change so fast. The future is actually going to look so different that we may not even recognize reality. My job is to really get people to visualize and think about the future. The future is here now. When we think about the future of transportation, we can think about the idea of the driverless car. These are things that are happening today. Look, no hands. <laughs> if you think that's amazing, wait until you see what the future really has in store for us. So you will get into a driverless car and you'll have several strangers waiting for you. They will look like offices or cafes. Imagine a future where the danger of driving is completely eliminated, where cars use algorithms to protect you from accidents. The idea of a car accident in the future will become obsolete. It doesn't matter where I go, what I tell people about when we talk about the future, the first thing they always ask me is, where's my flying car? But in fact, there are flying cars today. There are companies that are developing flying cars, and they exist on the market. The problem with flying cars today is that these are automobiles that have wings that have to expand. It takes time to, to pull the wings out. So are you really going to travel 25 miles out of your way to find a runway to take off? In the future, by 2035, what we're really talking about is not a flying car, we're talking about a lighter than air vehicle that more than likely will not have wings. These vehicles are made of carbon fiber, they use compressed helium, and they have vertical lift. They may be solar powered with small propulsion fans that can allow them to go up and down and move about in different directions. In the future, what we're looking at are air highways. So they're systems where these lighter than air vehicles can move around the cities and around the countryside. How incredible would it be to get into a lighter than air floating vehicle and be able to go anywhere at any time without any traffic? That's gonna be amazing. So the future that we're gonna find ourselves in is a future where our imagination becomes manifest where what you think becomes material. This is the kind of future that we're gonna be living in.